Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video could be seen as being controversial, but honestly, I don't care because I think the video that I'm speaking about, the person that I'm speaking about, is a little bit more controversial, actually a lot bit more controversial. So yeah, let's just get into this. So there is a YouTuber named Brooke Houts, and I found her, she showed up in my suggestion list because she used to do true crime. I don't think she does it anymore, or at least she hasn't for like a really, really long time. But I follow true crime very closely. I love the true crime com community on YouTube, and that's how I found her. And I liked her personality. She got a lot of critiques because she always talked fast. She always seemed upbeat even when she was discussing uh, these different crimes that were heartbreaking, honestly. But I always thought that was just her personality. She is who she is, like not a big deal. Well, I don't really watch a lot of her videos because like I said, I found her for, for the true crime and I don't think I've watched anything outside of that playlist. But I wanna say a couple months ago, at least several weeks ago, she got a dog. It's a Doberman Pinscher, I think I'm saying that right. But I mean, it's a big dog and it's a puppy. And the last several videos of her have been with this dog. Cause it seems like according to her videos, she has this great relationship with this dog. She really loves it. She showcases the different things that they do, the different um, things that she's learned as a dog mom or whatever. But her last video that went up <laughs> was so horrible. And the only reason why I clicked on it is because if you guys do not watch Tucker, he is a golden retriever and his channel is so funny. Um, his dog mom is always doing like challenges with him and like having him try different foods and she she's hysterical. Well, I think Brooke Houts must have gotten this idea from Tucker the gold retriever and it's like the plastic wrap challenge and I honestly thought about doing it with my dogs except I have a chihuahua and a palm key so they're only like four to six pound dogs and they can't jump for crap it would be impossible but anyway the point of this challenge is you put plastic wrap in front of like a door opening and then you get the dog to chase you and you go running over the plastic wrap, you hurdle over it, and then you want your dog to jump over it because it's clear, but Tucker would like stop and kind of like slide into it and stuff. And so I think Brooke Hout was trying to recreate this challenge. In this video, it is not this fun, loving, good time video like Tucker's. And I will link, uh, I will link Tucker's down below. She is downright abusive to her dog. She is yelling at him. She's in his ear screaming at him. Uh, I saw somebody commented that she spit on him or spat on him and I don't know if she did that. To me, I couldn't see her mouth. It was out of the camera frame. To me, it looked like she could have even like hit his head or her head. Honestly, I don't know. Um, on the floor, if not, she did spit or spat on the dog. Sorry, I don't know the proper past tense. I don't like saying the word spat. But, um, very abusive, screaming. And then she goes off camera multiple times with this dog, continuing to scream. She hits him. Uh, it's it's violent. It's embarrassing for her. It's horrible for the dog. And seriously, she needs to stop. I have unsubscribed to her. Um, I have reported her channel. I know some people are going as far as like calling the LAPD and reporting her. People have reported her to PETA and things like that, which may sound extreme. But listen, if you saw somebody on YouTube upload a video of them hitting their child in their ear, screaming at them, spitting on them, or possibly banging their head on the, on the ground, you will call CPS. You would report them. You would get so angry. And what makes this even more frustrating is Brooke claims to be a vegan. I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan. Um, Veganism is more of a lifestyle decision as opposed to vegetarianism. Like obviously you can be a vegan and not make it your lifestyle, but the, the general concept of being a vegan is that you live a life separate from using animals for entertainment, um, food, clothing, things like that. So like cruelty free makeup is a thing and faux leather and Literally, I just filmed a video on the Impossible Whopper 
And so it's a big deal. Um, living this kind of lifestyle but she claims to be a vegan while she is on camera abusing her dog and and I know that there might be people out there who say okay hitting your dog is disciplining it's not abuse you cannot hit them you cannot scream at them you cannot get in their face and yell at them and this is a big dog okay I'm surprised that like Brooke did not get bit maybe she has been bit but if your dog is out of control or wild um, untrained yelling at them in their ear, hitting them, slamming their head on the floor, on the floor, or spitting on them. It's not going to teach them how to behave. That is not discipline. That is violent. That is abuse. That is wrong. And it needs to be reported. Just because it's your dog or her dog does not give you the right to put your hands on the dog or the animal and abuse them or misuse them in any way, shape, or form at all. If, if her dog is so out of control she needs to put him in discipline school discipline school disciplinary school dog doggy school she needs to find a healthier way watch a couple YouTube videos pick up a book talk to some trainers there are ways and I guarantee you the trainer will tell you a hundred percent the first thing you don't do is yell at them the second thing you don't do is hit them <laughs> I'm sorry I'm really angry I thought I was gonna sit down and I knew I was gonna be upset but I didn't know that I was going to actually scream at you guys I'm just, I'm livid. I'm livid. And, and, and it's not like she, she did upload an apology, if you want to call it that, to Twitter. And it's basically excusing her actions by being like, oh, well, you know, I was having a bad day and I wasn't being myself. And normally I'm a really upbeat person, blah, 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 blah. You know what? I don't care. I don't care if you're having a bad day. I don't care. Your dog still did not deserve that treatment. I don't care if this was the first time you put your hands on your dog and screamed at your dog. I don't care because you could have seriously injured him or her. You could have seriously scarred him or her mentally. Um, dogs are smart. They are, they, they create a bond with their doggy parents, their animal parents, and they look up to you. They look forward to you coming home. They look forward to the treats and the snacks. And this, what makes me so angry, oh, I'm sorry I'm yelling, but I'm mad. I will upload the video, you guys. I will upload the video. I saved it before she deleted it. She did put it on private and I don't even care. I, that might be more controversial, but I don't care. Come for me, Brooke, come for me. This is so wrong on so many levels. But what makes me so mad is the dog looks like it's smiling. And if you're a dog owner, you know, your dog smile. But it is excited, it is happy. It's like jumping at her and, which I understand when you have a big dog that's jumping at you, like that can, that can be troublesome. One, she's still a puppy. Two, I can only imagine how much you have to hype up a dog to get it to chase you around the house to jump over a piece of plastic wrap. Because my dogs are like, if you're not feeding me, if you're not snuggling with me, and Boca honestly is like, if we're not watching a scary movie, like they don't give a crap about what I'm doing in my life. They don't chase me around the house. Um, 
Boca does. He follows me because he's my shadow and he had he has like codependency tendencies. But you have to like for a good video, I see her being like, come on, come on, let's go, come get me. I just feel like you'd have to hype up your dog to get the dog to do what you want it to do, to get the kind of content that you want to get to create a video that's exciting and you know, I'm gonna get your views. According to her, she uploaded the wrong file, which further infuriates me because the only reason we know about this situation is because she uploaded the wrong file. How many other files does she have on her computer or her phone where she is trying to create these videos with her dog and the dog is misbehaving and she lashes out violently and aggressively that we haven't seen because she uploaded the file she wanted to upload. You cannot convince me that this is a one-time thing where she lost her cool because she was having a bad day and yelled at her dog. And then also coincidentally, accidentally, uploaded the wrong file. Like you can't convince me that that that's this is a one time thing. Okay? The way she yelled at that dog so readily, so easily, her face is just pure annoyance, pure frustration, and sometimes pure anger toward this dog. I will let you guys have your own opinion about this situation, but if we are going to be dragging YouTubers and vloggers and other creators because of things that they say that are racist or um, the way that they talk about other companies or because they have like really crappy lipstick. If we're gonna drag these people for these reasons, then honestly, Brooke needs to be dragged for animal abuse because I feel like, okay, yes, those lipsticks were a hazard, Jacqueline. They should have been dealt with. Should, they should never have been released. There should have been a recall, okay? You could have seriously injured some people. However, the people putting the lipsticks on um, did that on their own free will. Whether they saw hairs in it and, and microbeads and all of these things, and if they put that lipstick on, that was a decision they made. This dog did not get to make the decision to be abused. You see what I'm saying? Like, while there's an area of being wrong as a creator, there's like different levels. And I feel like animal abuse and child abuse are <laughs> going to always trump anything involving lipstick. She, she, she bullied this dog, you guys. It is sick. It is sick, sick, sick. I, I feel like she should not own this dog. I don't know if she's owned other dogs. Like I said, I haven't watched her videos outside of her true crime. And that includes her dog's videos. Um, so I don't know if she's owned other dogs or if she does own other dogs, but she went a hundred percent should be fined at the very least for animal cruelty. She should have her dog taken away so that it can be rehomed in a home that wants it, that is patient, that can give it the nurturing environment that is that it needs, especially while it is a puppy. And and, and literally, like she needs to lose followers. She has lost my respect. Um, she has lost my following. And I don't think I've ever made a rant video about a single person before, especially like another creator. I mean, I am one who expresses myself and my opinions, but I don't want my platform to be a negative platform to where I'm always dragging this person or that person because they had a misstep in actions or in words. This is not a misstep. This is blatantly, violently, abusively wrong and it needs to be brought to her attention that saying I'm sorry I was having a bad day and I uploaded the wrong file does not cut it does not cut it um, I don't know I'm really curious to see what you guys think about the situation even if you don't agree with me, I just ask that you're kind in the comments that you tell me down below why you don't think that this is a serious issue. So if you come attacking me, attacking people who think like me, attacking vegans, attacking people who stand up for animal rights, I will delete your comment and I will not apologize and I will block you if that's necessary. But this needs to be addressed. This is, this is a serious, serious crime that at least 300 and 
34,000 people have been exposed to. Not to mention everybody that she shows up in on their suggestion list. And I'm sorry, the last thing I want is one of my children watching a video like that thinking, oh, okay, that's how I'm gonna train a dog. That it, It's acceptable for somebody who has such a large following, a social platform, to behave like that. No, 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 no. If you guys are a follower, I strongly suggest you unfollow her. I strongly suggest that you do report her content, her channel. I don't think this is slander. I don't think this is bashing. I don't think this is unnecessarily like being negative toward a person. There are consequences to actions and animal, animal abuse has consequences and she needs to face them. And if that means losing her channel, so be it. If that means losing her following, so be it. But if she does not lose her dog involuntarily, I hope she has enough common sense to find someone to take her dog after this situation. Because this is, this is so, so, so wrong. And you know they say once a cheater, always a cheater. Once an abuser, always an abuser. I think that goes for, for children and, and dogs, animals as well. I think it's so ironic that I found her through her true crime uh, playlist. And here she is committing, in my eyes, a crime against her dog. I mean, it's animal cruelty, you guys. Call it whatever you want. Defend her if you want. You're never going to convince me that putting your hands on a dog, yelling in a dog's ear, spitting on them, or hitting their head on the floor, you're never going to convince me that that's okay. You're never going to tell me, oh, it's just a bad day. Somebody has to be an advocate. Someone has to speak out for this dog because all she's going to do is just be more careful about what files she uploads or what videos she records. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's just so wrong. Okay, I am for real going. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope that you guys have a great day and I hope that you guys don't abuse your animals because if you do, you are a disgusting, disgraceful person. And I hope you face consequences because karma is a bitch and it will come for you every single time. And with that being said, it is now getting really crowded at this park and I will see you guys in my next video. So bye.